Hello everybody, welcome back to The Walking Dead. We are here today with another gameplay, and last episode, Clem and AJ got reunited, and we ran into some zombies after we crashed the car. Luckily though, we had some saviors, and they brought us back to this cool little school they have. We've met a couple of people, and we are going to see what else they are going to offer and or not offer. So without further ado, let's get right into it. You don't know any others? Well, there is one. Let's hear it. But you're armed. Armed. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine, you are lost and <laughs> what lost the forever. heck? Ah, uh, I love that song. Dreadful sorry, Clementine. Light she was and like a fairy, and her shoes were number nine. Herring boxes without topses, sandals were for Clementine. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what do you think, AJ? I don't know. It's loud. It is. It's loud, but it sounds that. nice. Not always. Compress this key. Come on. Go ahead, AJ. Press it. Gotta teach AJ how to play the piano. The piani. Now press this one. And this one. <laughs> You're a natural. Hey! He's gonna be able to play full songs in no time. Nope. Shit. We've got a bit of a situation out there. Um, <clears throat> need to ask, you just coming to and all, but could really use a hand. You up for taking out a few deadheads? Now they're called deadheads. You too, Lewis. Get your ass in gear. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Let's go kill some deadheads. I'm about this. Make sure you guys are enjoying the series. By the way, hit that like button, comment whether you are not, and subscribe so you don't miss any sweet content. Hey, Rosie! Where the hell is she? Uh-oh, we got somebody who's MIA. Give her her weapon back. Good. Bam. We're gonna need you to put it to use. We've got a hunting party out there trying to get back inside. We need our help to clear the way. Seems to be a few more than usual these last couple of days. It's almost like something drew their attention. Something like, I don't know, an explosion or a car crash. Bye. What? Just saying. Look, I didn't know any of that was going to happen. Sorry if it caused you guys problems. Uh, um. Hello, Clementine. I'm Violet. Nice to meet you. What he said. <laughs> right, Thanks, boys, Violet. Girls, they're starting to fill in. Come on. Be careful out there. All right, let's get going. Let's take these boys mind, down. She uh grows on you. I promise. Yeah, we'll see about that. Oh, this? It's a chair leg. I call it Charles. All right, him and Charles are gonna go deal with some Zams. I need you to watch my back. Call out from inside if you see anything. Cool? Okay. You got see this. You on the other side. Clem knows what it's like to be left behind, so that way the adults can go kill the Zams, so... Surely she can sympathize a little bit with AJ, although it is a smart decision to keep AJ behind, uh, behind the gates. Clem, monster. Kill the walkers. All right. Let's take these boys down, baby. Kaboom. No, my lord. And another one. Down you go. Oh, whoa. I killed that zombie so hard he disappeared. Watch and learn. Hey, over here. Follow me. Causing a bunch of noise is what you're doing, boy. Oh, dang. I guess so. There's a whole bunch of traps laying around this area for these ass hats. They're all marked, so keep a lookout. Okay. Well, I suppose I shall cut this one. Down you go. Oh, that one I can't get. Okay. I'll take down the Zambi. Boom, baby. Got another Zambi coming here. Let's just take this noob out too. Kaboom. Oh. All right, can we get it? No, no. 
I hear I thought I hear some other zombies behind us, but okay, let's take this one down. I guess there's not behind there's none behind me. I wasn't able to use the other ones. Come on, meet him halfway. Let's meet him halfway. Kaboom, let's get you down! Oh dang! <laughs> I like these traps, I tell you what. This would be fun to set up, right? Ew! Oh, shit! Oh! Dang! I didn't even see that thing! Alright, now we got all the zombies. Nice timing. We're not going to be able to hold them off much longer. Nice, they were lucky no too. Kidding. Where'd all these walkers come from? We can talk when we're back inside the gates. Keep an eye out for stragglers. Can't celebrate too early. We gotta make sure we get inside the walls, casualty free. You know, you're not half bad considering the circumstances and all. Thanks. Let's finish these guys off. We don't need them attracting more walkers back to the school. Okay. Suppose let's finish these noobs off. Down you go, even more than you already are, Mr. Crawly Zambi. Piece of shit. I hate this cleanup bullshit. Oh! Uh oh. Oh shoot, where did I stab? Oh my goodness! Why wouldn't I go for the head? Dog! Oh jeez! Oh my goodness! Oh, holy moly! Good girl! Shh, shh, hey, hey! It's alright girl, it's alright. Dang! Hey, see you and Rosie are making friends. Had a bad experience with the dog ones. Well, Rosie here can help you get over it. She's as cuddly as they come. Oh, except when she's mauling walkers, that is. <laughs> that walker came out of nowhere. All right, all right, fun's over. Let's get inside. I'm fucking starving. You're not the only one. Okay, well, crisis How averted. How do you think it went? Be nice, Asim. The safe stone's nearly dry. I could barely find enough for tonight. We're gonna have to scout out further if we want food for the winter. We'll talk about it later. Bullshit. We should talk about this right now. I said later, damn it. Still standing, I see. I'd call that a B-plus performance there, Vi. You've done better. Fuck off. B-minus, then. Now, Clem here. That was a solid A. A-plus, even. Don't be jealous, Vi. <laughs> be better. Um, you kicked ass, Violet. A plus. I know. You're both delusional. <laughs> Who is this guy? Why is he judging us? I think Violet did good. I didn't see what Violet did. I didn't see what you did either. There's AJ. They're pretty good with the monsters. Come on, y'all. Food's here. Yeah. <laughs> AJ. He did warn you, though. Don't sneak up behind. Don't walk up behind him. <laughs> yeah, you can't really walk up behind him. He's got a thing about that. <laughs> mm -hmm. a painful thing. He can't go around punching people in the... No one expected me to eat at the same table. I'll talk to him. <laughs> hey. Hey. I can you really blame him though? What are you looking at? What's that bird doing? That's gross. He should stop. The same thing we're doing, surviving. But we don't eat monsters. Yeah, but if we could, we probably would. I wouldn't. Whatever you say. I wouldn't. Gross. I didn't mean to hit him. 
I didn't know that it was Marvin. Marlin. Right. AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you, but we should go talk to them. But... but I don't think they like me. I can just tell. They don't. Well, let's try not hitting them, for a start. <laughs> or biting. He snuck up on me. <sighs> AJ, listen. We haven't eaten for days. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. So we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first. Man, yeah, let's see if we can uh, get around the camp. Kind of chit chat with people, see what everybody's doing, and uh, yeah, their jobs around the camp. I'd like to get to know everybody. Let's see here. These are the f our first... Mitch and Willie, our first victims. Hey. Hey, you're new. I am. I'm carving a weapon. Uh, yeah, I can see that. You're good at that. You like that, huh, little dude? You wanna see something cool? I wanna see. <laughs> Pretty rad, huh? That's how you fuck up some monsters. Fuck up monsters, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that little dude said fuck. <laughs> oh, I love it. I got a key. I, I don't know. I thought it was funny when AJ uh, cursed. I think it's funny. Mm, it's yes. going to be funny just Red to have AJ to curse. Hey, guys. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Hey, excuse me. Chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place, and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. Okay. That's all they had to say. We have a few more people to talk to. This fellow with the book. His name is Asim. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey. It's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. Asim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm. Like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. You seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back the safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt, which means we're going to have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it. That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. <laughs> so? <laughs> so it was just sitting there. Finish that sentence, AJ. Saved my life. I F-worded up and looked like a fool. Not cool. I just... <laughs> I write mistakes down so they won't happen again. I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know... Bye. Yeah. I mean, I probably shouldn't have let AJ finish that sentence. Yes, I understand that that girl is over there. We will talk to her last, dang it. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not looking forward to talking to her either. I'm not ready. Not yet. Okay. Let's talk to someone else. Alright. So we're not quite talking to Marlin and friend yet. Let's go talk to this this one. There's that girl up it. Yeah. Wanna talk to her? You mean say I'm sorry? Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. You can do it. You just gotta... Lay it on thick. Lead with the joke. Tell her you were scared. Tell her why you did it. Because of my... thing? Yep. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Just be honest.
Yes? I'm sorry I bit you sometimes. When I get scared, I do that, but I don't mean to. I just, I just get scared, and I'm sorry, and I hope your finger is okay. Oh, Shug, it's all right. We can all get a little crazy when we get scared. Thank you for your honesty and your apology. I did it. You sure did. There we go. Guess she's gonna chill with her for a little bit. Now, I believe that was the last one, so can we now go talk to Marlin and friend? Let's have a look-see here. Or maybe not. Oh, ah, okay, shoot, there's some people over here as well. Oh my goodness. It's uh, quite a little community they have here. What is this? Our graveyard. Can you guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe? No. Let them have some space. Okay. I'm glad you're not in a graveyard. Yeah, that is fortunate. I don't know, we didn't really know them. I don't know if... Uh, they appreciated the visit. I don't, I don't know if they would have appreciated us prying. Clem? Yeah? I'm ready. Alright. To talk to Marlin. Okay. Let's go talk to Marlin. Age is all warmed up and ready to go. Hopefully Marlin will forgive him, although I'm sure he will. It is AJ. He's adorable. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. I'm the lucky one. He's just naturally good. Naturally good? That's rare stuff. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? Hey, don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You, a regular heavyweight. <laughs> hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done! Nice! Get the stew. We're gonna have some sweet meals. You guys earn your supper after all. Take down some walkers. AJ will get a full meal in his stomach, so will Clem. This is gonna be nice. This will be a nice little supper. I love this little courtyard, the school they have. They have such a great setup. This is super awesome, man. And it's run by kids. Ladies and gentlemen, it's crazy. Dinner is served. <sighs> Thanks. Wow, I can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Mmm, this is really good. <laughs> AJ is just going at it, man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what? Eat <laughs> Hey, slow it up, AJ. You're gonna choke. Just because everything else died doesn't mean manners did. I'll say goodnight. Good night. She's, she's got a stick up her butt, dude. She is just really... Clem. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. Well, that was nice of him. You sure? You bet. <sighs> I'm all done. What? <laughs> Why? He ate that second bowl mm -hmm. already? Me too. Now what? He's I'll a grown boy. What? Time for something very important. Oh God! Good night, Violet. It's time for some cards, eh? What's the game tonight, Lou? War. War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. Get ready, losers, because it's time for you all to lose. Oh shit! I like that. Bold talk. <laughs> uh -uh. True talk. 
It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Wait, what about AJ? What about him? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. Oh! Come on. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Oh, a man's got a jack. Or a lady's got girl's got a jack. Way to go, me. Nice. So about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so... They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. For the most part. <laughs> All hey, right. I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? Worst injury, grossest thing, met anyone famous, Marlon's haircut. <laughs> Marlon's haircut. What's up with your haircut, Marlon? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, what do you mean? She means it looks like a dead cat. Probably smells like one too. Uh, I look cool. <clears throat> Whatever you say. I say I look cool. <laughs> okay, Marlon. <laughs> you look cool, man. Oh. Booyah! Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? Oh my god. What? <laughs> it happened. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. That stuff is for suckers. Just causes trouble. Amen. Yeah, but the best kind of trouble, right? No. Nope. None at all. Ah, <laughs> I win. So, Clem, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. <laughs> What'd he teach you? Lots of stuff. Most important thing? How to let go, he's gone, it doesn't matter how to use a gun. How to say goodbye. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. Uh, these are such weird questions. Worst injury, I guess. Worst injury you ever saw. I uh, saw Walker get hit in the head so hard both his eyeballs flew out. Pretty cool. I saw someone have their intestines pulled all the way out. Like, all the way. It goes on for a while. We got a lot of guts. Dang. That's gnar. I saw gnar. This guy get his face beaten in with a crowbar. Badly. There wasn't even any skin left. Ouch. Hmm. He deserved it. He did. He really did. Carver was a c crap ball. Victory Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? That's an that interesting question. <laughs> well, I know. Anyone but me. Any one of you, but certainly not me. So sure. Made it this far. So have we. Yeah. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. <laughs> Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Oh, yeah. That's an easy question, too. Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Lee. His name was Lee. It was the same day I found out my parents were dead. 
That sounds like a rough day. <sighs> yeah, worst day of my life. Yeah, that was a pretty crappy day. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah, it's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Well, hopefully AJ had some fun. We got to know our comrades a little uh, bit. Good night. Night, AJ. Okay, they were talking, they were chatting, they were hanging out and chilling. <sighs> Long day, huh? Yep, real long. Uh, I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. You guys relax. Get some sleep. I'm human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. We can stay? We can talk about it. Okay. At least for now, right? I mean, it seems like a really good setup. A nice little room, too. Okay. Beds. Boarded up, winded with a bars as well. Only way out? Yep. Good. This box has so many colors. <laughs> well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. That's one form of, a, of an artist, you mean right? Like tin? Yeah, like ten. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Oh, oh, hey, Violet. Shit, I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Okay. Then you do you, girl. What the hell is it? Oh. What? Oh, we That's what I was looking getting for. Getting into her toolbox. It belonged to Sophie. Ooh. Uh, Ten Sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's it's fine. You should probably give it back. You should probably give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. I'm sorry, Thanks, AJ. Buddy. It's just that Ten wanted it since it was his sister's and all. It's okay. I do think it's kind of funny. It's been there for a year, and now you want it you back? You finish your drawing, though. Come on, man. I don't mind. You have to come in for... Come on, man. Huh. I see you're um, settling in. Yeah, my backpack and hat. Yeah, is that okay? <laughs> sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> she had the most amazing voice. Real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they... Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. Do you mind us being here? In their room? Nah. It's... it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad, actually. I'm glad it's getting some use instead of just sitting around picking up dust. What exactly happened to them? Sophie and Minerva. They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Oh yeah, you're preaching to the choir here there, Violet. <laughs> Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro-town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly, like, a people person. You know, I know I sometimes have a habit 
have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. You come off all right. I thought you were pretty cool. Oh, um, thanks, I guess. You were pretty cool too, not there against those walkers. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. He finished that uh, drawing not really bad, quick. Kiddo. I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. All right. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Well, at least AJ was able to finish his art. <sighs> okay, Alvin Jr. Time for bed. Okay, here. For Clem from AJ. For me? For the wall, to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. That is a good idea. Let's go ahead and hang that thing up. How about here? Me pickpocketing Clem. Is that what that said? That's <laughs> adorable. <laughs> Collectibles uh, can be found AJ? in your room. Okay, cool. Hey there. What are you doing? And we'll find out what he's doing next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, favorite, and subscribe. This was The Walking Dead. And next episode, we are going to see what in the world AJ is doing under the bed. And probably wake up tomorrow morning with more stuff to do. Maybe we can push over or go out scavenging and go past the safe zone. To, I don't know. Figure out what's going on and scavenge. Who knows? But we will find all that out next time. Bye-bye.